First, you want to go ahead and wash your apple. Now, we're going to peel. Let's see if we can peel this in one setting. And I'm going to use two Granny Smith apples. You also could use a potato peeler if you want. So did I do it? Did I do it? Did I do it? Did I make it? Did I make it? Let's see. Let ah, uh, just a little bit, just a little. But I almost did it. See, they're all diced. Now I'm just gonna add some lemon juice to the apples. This is to prevent discoloration and add some tartiness to the apples. In a large bowl, I'm gonna add two cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, one tablespoon of ground cinnamon. If you love cinnamon, you could add more. Or if you don't love cinnamon, you could add less. I love cinnamon. Teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna combine this together. So all the flavors can mingle together. Everything combined nicely. In a bowl, I'm gonna add one egg, one four cup of sugar, and we're gonna mix this together. Gonna add one tablespoon of vanilla extract. And now I'm gonna add one cup of whole milk. You could use buttermilk, you could use evaporated milk, you could also use water. Now I'm gonna make a well. And I'm gonna add my wet ingredients to my dry ingredients. And we're just gonna mix in our butter until all the flour is moistened. Liquid. Gonna add my apples. I'm just gonna fall in. Gonna add the rest of my apples. And this is it. This is the batter for the apple fritters. Now we're gonna preheat our oil to fry up these fritters. Over a medium low heat, I'm gonna add the fritters batter to the oil. So I wanna keep the heat on medium low because you want inside to cook with also outside. You don't want outside to brown too quickly and then inside is not cooked. So we're gonna fry this for at least three minutes. After three to four minutes, we're gonna take them out. And we're gonna put them on our cooling rack. 
these are smelling so nice there's something about cinnamon and apple together now we're gonna add the second batch and we're just gonna continue the process until all the fritters are fried So after you see it started to get some color on the first side, you just flip and let it fry for about three to four minutes on low heat. Now I'm gonna add the last batch. It's time to make our glaze for our scrumptious apple fritters. In a bowl, I'm going to add a one and a half cup of icing powder or icing sugar. And I'm going to add four tablespoons of almond milk. A teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now we're going to whisk this together. Just gonna add the fritters to the glaze like this. Drain off the excess. And here you have it guys this is how I make my apple fritters if you enjoy watching this video don't forget to subscribe like and share and now we're just gonna bite into it for you guys to see how soft and scrumptious these are look at this oh my god as soft as a pillow so flavorful with that cinnamon and a hint of vanilla with that apple flavor oh my god guys this is amazing thanks for watching see you in my next video bye